Hello everyone. Well, today I'm working on two things. I'm sanding down the uh, epoxy that I put on to fill the holes in the boat, and I'm also uh, cleaning up this uh, hull to deck joint here. It has some kind of old uh, sealer in it, which is kind of cracked and crumbling, and it's uh, like a dry seal. It's broken away from the hull, so there's really not a seal. It's just there. So what I'm doing is using the grinder, a flap wheel to get in and uh, to grind that out of there to clean it up because I'm going to epoxy over that uh, just to make a, a complete seal between the hull and the deck. So um, using the grinder, the flap wheel, and resting the grinder against the hull to give me control so that I can get in there and not contact the hull unless I want to. So it just gives you a bit more control rather than free handing it. Use some acetone to clean off all the dust here off of uh, the hole to deck joint where I cleaned it and ground it down. So after all this cleaning work I proceeded to mix some epoxy and fill it the joint around between the hull and the deck. 
So the next day the weather had deteriorated somewhat into blustery showers interspersed with bright sunshine. I took the opportunity between the showers to go out and sand off any excess epoxy at the hull to deck joint in preparation for painting the hull at some point in the future weather permitting. Here's PJ, my neighbour. <laughs> this is PJ, who's giving me a loan of this uh, great tool here, which I've been using on the boat. And here he's over in your more sandpaper. Thanks, PJ. <laughs> what do you think? I did this fillet here underneath yeah. to join it, because it was just sealed with like silicone. So. deck joint which was originally filled with silicone and now I've filled it with epoxy, thickened epoxy to, to seal it up and make a stronger connection between the, the deck and the hull and to make it waterproof as well. Okay so that brings us to the end of another episode. Over the last three days we've had some great sunshine, today we had a little bit of rain but overall it's been really good. Unfortunately in the next couple of days it's meant to get a little bit cooler but hopefully this is the shape of things to come and the weather's going to improve overall because in the last three days I've managed to achieve more on the boat than I have in the last three months. So it just goes to show that a bit of good weather can really move a project along. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.